Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using consistent deformation method. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is uniformly distributed load 36 kN per meter. It is acting for the whole span. In the span BC, there is a concentrated load 72 kN. It acts at a distance of 2 meter from the support B. Span AB is 4 meter long and its moment of inertia is 2i. Span BC is 6 meter long and its moment of inertia is i. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. The number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are the vertical reactions RA, RB and RC. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 3 minus 2. So it will be 1. From this beam, let us release RB. You can see that from the point B, I have removed RB. Now this is a simply supported beam. To find RA, let us take a moment about C. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 10. So 10 RA. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to open a bracket. The distance 4 upon 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance which is 6. The point load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. For RA, we will get 144 kN. Then by applying this rule, we can find RC. For RC, we will get 72 kN. From the previous problem, we know the formula to find RB minus delta L upon delta. To find both of these, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to find the moment CM and small m. Using the loads in the beam, we have to find the moment capital M. For that, we have to make sections in this beam. Let us keep this point as a D. In this beam, there are three different parts AB, BD and DC. So, we have to make three sections. One in AB, one in BD and one in DC. You can see that I have made three sections, one at AB at a distance of X from A, one in BD at a distance of X from C, and the last one at a distance of X from C. Now let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are three members AB, CD and DB. For the first section, the origin is A and for these two sections, the origin is C. For AB, the limit is 0 to 4. For CD, the limit is 0 to 4. And for DB, the limit is 4 to 6. Now let us enter the flexural rigidity. For AB, the moment of inertia is 2i. So the flexural rigidity will be 2EI. For CD and DB, the moment of inertia is I. So the flexural rigidity will be EI. Now let us find the moment M in the section in AB. We are going to find the moment from the point A. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so it will be 144x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction 
so that it will be negative we know that with the udl we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 after simplifying this we will get this let us enter this inside the table now let us find the movement m in the section in cd we are going to find the movement from the point c in this case we have to follow left hand side rule clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive rc is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so it will be 72x now let us find the movement in this section rc is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so it will be 72x this load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative for this load we have to take this distance this distance is x minus 4 after simplifying this we will get 288 now we are going to find the moment m for that we have to remove all of the loads from the beam and then we have to apply unit load in the direction of rb taking moment about c let us find ra ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 10 so 10 ra the unit load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 for ra we will get a negative value that means the assumed direction is incorrect we assumed that it would be acting upwards but actually it is acting downwards so we have to change the direction here i have changed the direction of ra by applying this rule we can find rc for rc also we will get a negative value that means the assumed direction is incorrect here i have changed the direction of rc let us find the movement m in the section in a b RA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is x. Let us find the movement in CD and DB. About both of these two sections, RC is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is x. Using this formula, we can find delta L for AP. The flexural rigidity is 2EI. So in the formula, instead of EI, we have to apply 2EI. Using the calculator, we can do these integrations. For delta L, we will get this. Then using this formula, we can find delta. For delta, we will get this. In this formula, we have found both of them. Let us apply them. For RB, we will get 152.5 kN. Now let us take the original beam. By taking moment about C, we can find RA. For RA, we will get 52.5 kN. By applying this rule, we can find RC. For RC, we will get 11 kN. From the point A, let us take moment about B and to find the moment at B, MB. Let us assume that it is a hugging moment. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. With the UDL, we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. About the span AP, MP is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MP, we will get a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MP is a hugging moment. Now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram by superposition method. For that, first we have to draw the free moment diagram. We have to consider every span as a separate simply supported beam. Then using these formulas, we can find the moments and draw these two diagrams. 
then using the movement to B, we can draw the entire movement diagram combining both of these two diagrams. We can draw the bending movement diagram by superposition method. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending movement for AB. We can make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point, I have made a section at a distance of X from A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using right hand side rule, we can find the shear force for x we will get this now using the right hand side rule we can find the maximum positive bending movement the points a and c are the simply supported ends so the moment will be zero using the right hand side rule we can find the moment at b which will be minus 78 we have already calculated that now let us use the left hand side rule and to find the movement at D, RC is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. For the movement at D, we will get a 45.6. This is the proper bending moment diagram. If we make this diagram upside down, that is called the bending moment diagram on the tension side. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. These are the points of contraflexure. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. First, let us find the distance in the span AB. In the span AB, I have made a section at a distance of X from A. Using the right hand side rule, we can find the distance. Now, let us find the distance in the span BC. I have made a section at a distance of x from c. Using the left hand side rule, we can find the distance as 4.72 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching.